is back, presented by Taco Bell. Downtown Houston, Texas, the place to be for big league baseball. One step closer to a bit of normalcy as Major League Baseball returns to the Bayou City. Tonight, the Houston Astros begin the 2020 season. It's the first of a four-game series between the Astros and the Seattle Mariners. Good to have you with us. It is great to have baseball back. Alongside Jeff Blum, I'm Kevin Eschenfelder sitting in for Todd Callismore on TK in just a moment. But, you know, right now, there's no no fans in the stands. It's a little quiet in here, but you know what? It's all right because baseball is getting ready to get going. Yeah, it's odd. 266 days ago, we were talking baseball. Here we are now talking baseball again, and that's all we want right now is to bring a little bit of comfort into your living room, and I hope the smile proves that we're happy to be here. Baseball is back, and first pitch is coming up. Stay with us. It's the Astros and Mariners, the season opener. Coming up. This summer, let's bring back that great American tradition called the road trip. Because right now, it's even easier to get started with up to $1,500 trade assist cash, multiple IIHS top safety picks, and a 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. So come on, America. Let's get out there again. Let's road trip. Trade up to a new Kia and rediscover America in a car or SUV that's built right. And remember, that journey starts at your local Kia dealer. She asked the new boyfriend home to meet the family. And meet them he will. All of them. <laughs> Whatever brings you together, bring the flavor. Minute Maid. Houston is the city we love. A city of heart. Resolve, determination, a city we embody as we suit up and step on the field each day. We play for the H on our caps, for the legacy we will build together. We play for our city, our home, for the H. AT&T Sportsnet are so excited to bring you Astros baseball games once again. Now, as you're watching the game, you know, you truly have the best seat in the house. Now, I want you to make sure that you take a picture of you in your best seat at your house. Use the hashtag Stro's Best Seat, and you'll win an opportunity to be on our broadcast or maybe get a couple of giveaways. You can also challenge your friends as to who truly has the best seat in the house. AT&T Sportsnet, the TV home for Astros baseball. Astros Baseball on AT&T Sportsnet is brought to you by Jack in the Box. Order Jack's 599 Southwest Cheddar Cheeseburger Combo for delivery and make it a double for a dollar more. It's opening day. When we return, we check in with Julia Morales to tribute to the Astros fans. That's next. Welcome to the AT&T Sportsnet Studios. I'm Butch Alcindor. He's Mike Stanton. And we just watched the Astros win at home on opening night, knocking off the Seattle Mariners 8-2. to two. It was their eighth consecutive opening day win, but it, and it was a typical Astros win. Yeah, this was how Dusty scripted it out. JV pitched extremely well, and then what happens? The offense got off to a little slow start, but then took over. Always helps when you have the offense and JV on the mound all at the same time. Well, let's send it back to Kevin now for a wrap on the ball game. All right, thank you very much, Butch Alcindor. Yeah, that's uh, the way they did draw it up. I mean, because this is the Astros getting it done the way they did. Strong starting pitching in this one tonight uh, as uh, Justin Verlander was very good. But, you, you know, the question marks coming out of the bullpen, I, I thought uh, tonight, you know, when you take into consideration the Davinsky, Blake Taylor, Noli Paredes, they all could be, they give up. 
They gave up uh, one hit, or no hits, and uh, no walks in this game. Yeah, it was a beautiful thing, and it's big for Chris Davinsky, who's trying to, you know, earn the respect back in that bullpen and really work into a situation where he can contribute. And then we got to see three guys make their major league debut, so that was a lot of fun, and it was a unique situation after that Brantley home run. Things kind of broke open a little bit, like we're accustomed to seeing, so it gave the opportunity for those guys to make their big league debuts here in the first game of 2020, and we appreciate everybody hanging in and taking the time and the patience to wait for us to get back on air, and it yep. ended up being a Nashville win. We're very happy to be back with you. Yep. Bullpen gave up a couple of hits, but still no damage done, and the Astros are trying to get back at it again tomorrow, and it should be fun to watch. We will see you there. Thanks for Let's do it again. Doing the heavy lifting here <laughs> tonight. Baseball is back in full force, and we'll have you covered again tomorrow. Lance McCullers takes the mound for the first time in over two years as the Astros and Mariners square off in Game 2. Four-game series. Our coverage begins with the Astros pregame at 2.30 tomorrow afternoon. So for Jeff Long, Julia Morales, I'm Kevin Eschenfelder. Stay tuned. Butch Alcindor, Mike Stanton, Brian Bogusevic at the postgame show. Come your way next.